Hygiene procedures are paramount for the control of plant pests, pathogens and weeds in any production nursery, green life market and growing media manufacturer. Effective hygiene and disinfestation protocols must be developed for the successful control of biosecurity issues in high-risk production situations. High-risk areas can include propagation facilities, growing media storage and handling facilities, and used growing containers. For example, in high-risk areas such as propagation, it is recommended that hands, tools and surfaces are disinfested at regular intervals to reduce the risks associated with cross-contamination. The following video shows the procedures applicable to the hygiene of personnel and staff. It is important to ensure high levels of hygiene are maintained in risk areas such as propagation, seed raising and potting or staging operations. Use disposable gloves and change them between operations or wash hands thoroughly between operations using an approved hand disinfectant such as sunlight soap, savlon or Dettol antiseptic soap. Footwear must be clean and free of soil and vegetative material that could transfer pests and pathogens into the production areas. If footwear does not meet this requirement, preventative options include Changing footwear and using only designated footwear in the working area. Scrubbing clean with a brush prior to using an improved disinfectant or detergent solution to spray the footwear. Installing foot baths at all entrance points to the production area. Providing boot covers for all staff, contractors and visitors. Carry out any work in sterile and clean areas early in the working day. Check clothing for attached pests, soil, vegetation, weed seeds and any other contaminants. Wash clothes in water and detergent after each day's use to remove insects, vegetative material, plant seeds and plant pathogens. Or alternatively, use disposable suits in high risk areas or activities and launder daily. Wearing a hat provides head protection from the elements, but these items require regular decontamination to prevent the transfer of plant diseases, pests and weeds. Hats should be brushed down with a suitable brush to remove any loose dirt, leaves, spiderwebs and other contaminants, and then sprayed with a suitable disinfectant. Washable hats may be laundered or decontaminated using a disinfectant spray. Other hats, such as leather or non-washable hats, should be either wiped down or not used in the production area. To minimise contamination in high risk situations, such as operating off site or in windy conditions, disinfestation should be undertaken more frequently in line with the level of risk. Dispose of any used disinfectants according to the label directions. When a problem arises, document the situation by completing a corrective action report. This report documents key non-conformances as well as what actions were taken to correct the problem and prevent a recurrence. A range of publications and resources on nursery hygiene and sanitation are available on the NGIA website. More information can be found in the Biosecure HACCP guidelines. This video has been produced by the Nursery and Garden Industry Queensland and supported by the Nursery and Garden Industry Australia and Horticulture Australia Limited. Special thanks go to the following nurseries for help in producing this video. For further information, contact your state or territory association or NGIA.